when this landed on my desk that a book by Shashi Tharoor, I was like, okay, I was preparing my weekend that I have to now make eight hours to read it. And, and then it took you one hour. <laughs> I, yeah, so I was like, you know, you know this is, you're just capitalizing on this very hefty reputation you have as an academic intellectual with funny, witty thoughts, your research in depth. And you said, you know what? Let me have a drink one evening, write down 100 quotes and it's a book because I'm Shashi Tharoor. Is that what happened? No, <laughs> life is a paradox. We celebrate each birth even while knowing it comes with a sentence of death. Don't we? Everyone who's born is going to die. Yeah, but, it's, but, it's, it's but, this, but this thought has been articulated very beautifully by Harivan Shai Bachchan and Madhushala. What did he say? Aane ke hi saath jagat mein kehlaya jane wala There is my history and your history, your truth and my truth. Your facts and my facts. No, facts are not negotiable. But I thought you were doing a Vek Agnihotri. <laughs> no, no, no. In the new parliament building, as you said, when everyone marched, I was waiting to see some intermingling between party MPs, you know, the leader of opposition and the PM marching together, or something of the sort. It was just even the, that. That polarization is the other thing that's so disappointing. I initially, back in 2014, thought nothing of inviting BJP people to social occasions at my house. Gradually, in fact, Early on, the more prominent ones started saying it's difficult for them to come. Gradually, they pretty much all stopped coming and after a while, I stopped calling. But is there a constitutional provision that without delimitation, you cannot go ahead with the Women's Reservation Bill or there is no such... There is no such it, thing. Th they could have implemented it tomorrow if they wanted to. Okay. There could have been various formulae, but this formula, which says you wait for a census, wait for delimitation and then do it, essentially pushes the whole Women's Reservation issue into the indefinite future. And that's the... Uh, in politics, an indefinite future is as good as saying that if the party leadership itself is giving tickets to people like Sadhvi, Pragya, and you know, uh, we've seen Ramesh Bidhuri's statements in parliament recently, and characters who, in many ways, or, or, or MPs like Sakshi Maharaj who called for uh, God right. says statues to replace those of Mahatma Gandhi. I mean, people like that are getting tickets from their party leadership. It's very difficult for them to find common ground for civil conversation with people on the other side. But correct me if I'm wrong, didn't Sajjan Kumar's brother get a ticket because he couldn't? This India Alliance, mm. which now India Alliance, depending on uh, you know which channel you are, people want to call Indian it different National thing. Developmental Inclusive Alliance. Right, yeah. that one. <laughs> You think it can sustain till a next year election because one already sees a little bit of friction? There is the basic fact that in our country, when you have a majority government like the BJP has been enjoying for the last 10 years, nine, nine and a half years, they are using the legislature as a rubber stamp. 